magical Kenya, where all the nature wonders happen. As the global pandemic rises, on March 25th, Kenya government suspended all international flights the day before I left Kenya. August 1st, after four months, Kenya resumed international flight. That's the day I came back. And this video is based on my own observation in one camp in Masai Mara. Hello, guys. I'm Jeffrey Wu. I'm a professional wildlife photographer from Canada. Right now, in August 5th, I'm in the center of the seventh wonder of the world, the Great Migration in Masai Mara, Kenya. First, I want to ensure you by recording this video, there's no social distancing concern because I'm talking to a camera which around me 20 meters, that's nobody else. So I temporarily remove my mask and talk to you. Right now, I'm in this beautiful camp, Caprini Lion of Gamorche Safaris in Olari Motorogi Conservancy of Masai Mara. Let's find out how are these camps is preparing to ensure the safety of their guests. When guests arrived or finished their daily outing back to the camp, the driver will be taking body temperature to ensure that he maintains normal temperature and being handed hand sanitizer for washing the hands. Also guests will also taking body temperature to confirm their body temperature are normal and sanitizing washing their hands. Beside in the room and the common washroom area, there is a washing station just by arriving area at the front of the camp, which you can use water and soap to thoroughly wash your hands. Social distancing are ensured by the marking on the ground as well as carefully arrange the number of chairs in the media tent. All common areas, lounge, mess tent, media tent, are cleaned daily. Also in your room, all the open surface are cleaned thoroughly with sanitizer. Hand sanitizer are everywhere placed in the common area. Let's talk to the manager see what he has to say with these procedures. My name is Victor, I'm the camp manager for Rini Lion, and I also double up as a health uh, contact person, having undergone a training with the Ministry of Health officers on COVID preparedness test. Uh, before we opened, uh, we recalled all of our, our staffs and made sure that they had undergone the COVID certification test, and all of them tested uh, negative. Therefore, we brought them in and we trained them through the Ministry of Health the guidelines to ensure that uh, everyone is aware and ready for this pandemic that is all over. And people put on their masks. We ensure that all are sanitized during their working hours. And every evening we ensure also we take their temperatures, including guest temperatures. They also ought to take care of themselves by ensuring that they sanitize all the time and keep the distance the way we set our restaurants, the way we set our rooms, and the way we interact with our staff. All our vehicles, we put the sanitizers, all our guides are informed on how to deal with uh, this situation. So everyone is basically within the camp is basically uh, informed on how to deal with this situation, and we encourage our guests to visit us all the time because we are safe and uh, we, we, we will take care of them. So the camps are prepared, employees are trained, protocols are all in the place, management is closely supervising the enforcement of protocol. Kenya needs you, African tourism needs you. Thank you for watching. I'm Jeffrey Wu in Masamara, August 5th.